Hi everybody. Today is Friday, October 14th, and we're at the mid-semester point, pretty much. And I have seven announcements to give you. I'm going to tell them to you in video, and then you also have them in text below the video as a reference if you wanted to print this out and make sure that you attended to all the details. You don't have to go back through the video to double check. So I'm providing in two formats on this particular announcement. If you made an extra credit tech cast when you came to the face-to-face, -face, optional face-to-face -face podcasting meetings in August, and I did not give you the plus three that I told you I would give, be sure you let me know. Um, item number two, from this point on, um, well, up to this point, no one should have used the oops drop box yet. I mean, you could have, but it hasn't been necessary because I have allowed folks to, to redo a lot of different things, assignments, like the Wiki Foundation was an assignment. I allowed you to redo that. Um, the TechCast was an assignment. I have allowed people to resubmit things that they might have done improperly with that. So really, there, there's no reason why you would have used it up to this point. If you have used it for one of those assignments, let me know. Um, and let's give you your oops back. So everybody should have their oops still. Now remember, if you don't use the oops by the end of the semester, I give you, I think it's three extra credit points because I appreciate the fact that you don't use it. But it's also there to help. So what is the oops? We'll revisit the syllabus because it knows even better than I do. Um, but basically, it's, it's a Dropbox that you can use. It's open through the December deadline, whatever the last deadline is. It's like December 4th or something. And you can submit any assignment in there for full points. I won't worry about it being late. And that is there for you. You can do one assignment. I would wait till the very end of the class, quite honestly, before I would bother using it. There's no rush. So what I would do is I would actually, if you have something to submit late, an assignment, use that cutoff window first. Now, if you don't remember what that is, go reread the syllabus about late work. There's the cutoff window on assignments is that you can actually turn an assignment within a week after the deadline. And uh, the most I'll deduct from that is 20%, okay? And sometimes I deduct it and sometimes I don't. Generally I don't, but I, I still reserve the right to do it if I need to, if y'all become abusive with late work. But generally I don't even bother. I'm so happy it gets in the Dropbox, you can't even believe it. But submit your stuff into the Dropbox by the deadline, hopefully. If not, get it in by the week after the deadline, that's the cutoff window. And 20% may be deducted, may not be. And then at the end of the semester, that's when you should be strategic with your oops box and say, okay, Here's an assignment I could resubmit for, like, let's say that I did deduct 20 off of some assignment that you didn't do very well, so you only got maybe two out of 15 points. Redo it and put it in the oops, and then you can get it for full credit. So don't, don't be too hurried about using the oops. Remember, it's there till early December. Um, but I do want you to, I want you to know that from this point on, I kind of expect for you guys, actually, I, not kind of, I do expect for you guys to know how to submit assignments, um, read instructions, pay attention to the details, there's lots of details, and I understand that, but you know how to function in this class now, or you should, and um, so make sure you're aware of that. Now remember, I don't want you submitting group, it's late, so that's not one of the assignments that you're allowed to submit late, you need to be very timely about that. If you know you're going to have to submit things late, because um, various reasons. We all have complicated lives and we're balancing lots of different things. Make your digital movie a late assignment, assistive technology project, final portfolio, concept map, something else, but not the group bits, okay? So that was item number three, group bits cannot be late. These other items potentially could be. Um, item number four, uh, assignment insurance policy. What if you did your work but you forgot to submit the link inside of the Dropbox? Well, Never fear. There is this link. See item number four in the text below. It's the K-12 uh, Texter's wiki page called Fall 2011 Student Wikis. And a lot of you have placed your link on that wiki as I asked you to do during the Wiki Foundation assignment, but a lot of people haven't yet. And so what I do if, if I go to your Dropbox on an assignment and I'm grading it and you haven't submitted anything, well I'll go, I have that open constantly too while I'm grading. And I just go look on there and try to find your, the link to your wiki and if it's there, great. I go right in and I grade. No problem. So go put your link, go put the link to your wiki on that page, okay? And your slogan, if you haven't done that already. And that's your little insurance policy, if you forget to get things in the Dropbox. Or what if you submit something in the Dropbox wrong? Use that as your, your sort of safety net. We've got a lot of safety nets in this class. You've got oops, you've got the late cutoff window, you've got this, this backup wiki. I mean, you're, you're going to be okay. 
So um, just use these opportunities um, to best effect. Okay, item number five, grading update. I am grading the progress video journals number one today and tomorrow and I would like to give the whole class a sort of what I do when I grade them. They take a long time to grade. Is while I'm listening, I type what you are telling me. I kind of type the main points of what you're telling me. The good, the bad, the ugly. And, and then I'll provide you a chart and you can kind of just skim over how other people are doing in the class as of that progress video journal number one. Um, so I'll try to provide that feedback for you guys um, this weekend. And I'll, I'll, then I'll move on to the readings page and the UED analysis one and two. Now, the readings page, when I get to that, uh, there will be uh, several of you probably that forgot to get your readings link into the um, Dropbox, the readings Dropbox, because it was a little bit confusing, I'm sure. Um, use that insurance policy I was talking about on item number four. Get your link to your wiki on the assignment, on the uh, fall 2011 student wiki page, and you won't have to worry about what happens when I get to the readings page. All right, so those, those assignments from last module, they should be graded by early this coming week. Um, also, this early this coming week, I'm gonna try to open up the remaining modules, module five and six. Part of that that I haven't noted here, and I just remembered, is the TK20 question. Um, quite honestly, and I, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't convey this uncertainty to you guys, but I'm not sure it is known by the, high, the, the, the higher, higher ups what we need to do, but what we're going to do with the TK20 thing is your final portfolio, and I know I've alluded to this with several of you, or maybe I've sent it in an announcement, your final portfolio will be your TK20 artifact, and what I'll do in your instructions for your final portfolio is I will teach you how to archive your wiki, and you can turn it into a PDF, or you can turn it into another kind of thing, and I'll figure that out. It's something I have to figure out is how I'm going to recommend that you actually collect your wiki into a separate file. And um, and then I think into TK20, we'll probably post a link to your wiki. And we may also upload that PDF. So I need to look into that. And uh, but that's that's the plan for this semester. And those of you that don't, don't do TK20, you don't have to worry about it. All right, item number six. Progress video journal number two prompt is going to change. I alluded to that in the module opening video of this current module, module four. Um, and it's in the checklist too, I think. The new prompt for Progress, Progress Video Journal 2 will be available in the next few days. I would like to watch PBJ 1 before I change the prompt, okay? But I have a good idea of what I want to change it to, and more details will be coming. Um, don't feel antsy about the fact that it's not been released yet because you're not really supposed to do the Progress Video Journal until this module's over. And this module is not even halfway through finished. And because you're working in groups, I know most of you have not finished Module 4. So you still have a few more things to do before you even get to Progress Video Journal 2. So that will be coming up soon. If you don't see it from me in the next few days, be a squeaky wheel and remind me. Um, all right, group it's. We are five days into the first half of Group 1, and I'm talking to the teacher track folks, uh, the couple of speech language pathology guys, I think you know what you're doing. Um, teacher track folks, uh, we're about five days into group at one. By now you should have accessed the instructions to this assignment. And you should have watched the overview video, which will take a little less than an hour. Unless you're pausing it a lot and taking notes, which is fine. It'll take around an hour. And then what you should be doing right now, I'm saying right now by this Sunday, is you need to locate a unit plan and you need to post it to the potential plans page of your group's wiki area. And if you've watched, if you read the instructions, watch the overview video, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't done that, you need to go do that immediately. You need to get that posted by midnight this Sunday. Um, one of your classmates visited me earlier this week, and she was stressing out about this assignment, and I was trying to commiserate because I'm also an online student, and I am working in a group right now. We're doing research stuff together, and it is very stressful sometimes. You just, you just, you get nervous about making changes without, you're afraid you'll anger people, or you're afraid that they're not engaged with what you're doing and maybe you're working alone. Communication is, is the key and probably the best tool you can use is figure out who your group mates are, what are their names, and then go into course in mail and write them a message. Every, every group should have somebody should, in your group should address the whole group and start that communication because you're going to be working together for the next six weeks. Somebody needs to start up a, a course in message going and every time you guys talk you know over the next six weeks 
use the reply all to reply to everybody in your group and just to keep the questions, the comments, the decisions you're making rolling forward. If your group prefers to use the actual wiki page, there's a discussion board attached to your group's wiki page. You could use that if you prefer. But you know, coursed in mail, I, th I think, is probably even more effective than the wiki at this point at pulling people into the dialogue. I think people are more likely to check coursed in mail. Um, people are less likely to, to monitor the wiki, even though it has really cool monitoring tools that allow you to send emails straight to you if changes are made. I just think it's more likely that the coursed in mail is going to be the most effective tool for communication. So be a communicator. You're all teachers. You're all going to be in highly social jobs that require that you step up and, and you talk to people. So make that first contact if somebody hasn't done it yet and get that going. Okay? Um, I hope everything's going well and I hope you all have a great weekend. A better one than I do. I hope you have more relaxation this weekend than I know I'm going to have. It's just going to be, it's going to be a busy one. All right. Well, talk to you all later.